welcome back to the gauntlet um today i am joined by a fish out of water how you doing fish i'm i'm doing pretty good dude you never uh you're never really selling those jokes yeah well uh, sometimes you just need to make a better joke well how am i supposed to make a better joke when you don't ever sell the joke it's a good question like what how am i supposed to know it's not good um we have basically every letter except for one Shine. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's a really easy one after like a few days of ones that were like not that easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For whatever. What was reason. the one like yesterday? It was like midst or something? That one almost got me. That was two days ago because I didn't do the one yesterday, but I did mm. have midst. And then there's badge, which is was oddly tough for me. Um. Oh, this is an older movie. I don't, I don't know, but I don't really know what this is supposed to give us here. Is this like an atom bomb being dropped, maybe? Or like a testing? I'm going to put an inconvenient truth. Because it looks like it's, like, you know, pollution going in the air, head ass. Um, there's not really a lot I can we can do with this. And I, I guess it could be. Or it's like they had a gunfight over here or something. Like old western. Yeah. Uh... Uh, oh god, this is like, this is like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or something. I want to put Maximum Overdrive for the memes. Uh, it's that movie that Stephen King directed and wrote where the cars yeah, kill yeah. life and try to kill people. Yeah. Hmm. I'm telling you, I could see this as a uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre type vibe. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, uh, no, this is uh, um, Coen Brothers. Um, no Country for Old Men. The, the cowboy hack is in a way. I think that's you did it. Brolin. Josh Brolin. Yeah, I mean, like, why give us this picture and then give us this picture? It's like... Do you know this is Javier Bardem with the fucking uh, air gun that kills everybody? Or, okay, here he is. There's Javier Bardem. <laughs> Congratulations, you've done it. I like this duct tape on this shotgun. That's pretty cool. Anyway. Yeah, hold it together. God, I really hate it when they give me piano intros. I really do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Ooh. I know the song. I do not know this song. I lied. I thought it was a. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. I feel like yeah, that's a no. I feel like there's a song that like just kind of steals this. <laughs> it just steals this whole vibe. Uh, first, you ever heard of Virtual Insanity? Uh. By maybe that that's actually what this is. Oh, you did it. Yeah, that's um, that whole. That song was famous because he had a music video where he was in a room and all the stuff was moving left and right. Um, and he was like on the ceiling and shit, but everything was like on a treadmill, basically. It's a pretty innovative music video. I forgot about, I didn't know what his name was, but uh, I guessed pretty, pretty well there, so that's cool. That is pretty wild. Okay. Western Sahara, so we... We down low, huh? By quite a bit. So is this still... I mean... Where I guess is Western... Like West Africa, right? Um, yeah. 
this isn't South Africa, but it'll give me kind of more of an idea of where we're... Okay. I thought 2,000 kilometers was pretty far, but it's not... I don't know where Azerbaijan's at or whatever, but could that be it? No. Why did that even, why was that even a thing? <laughs> it's like northwest or northeast of all these things. It's in uh, like in yeah, the Caucasus between Europe and Asia, and this is Africa. I don't think you know where that's at. Okay. No, not Canada. Are the Canary Islands owned by somebody else? Um, so... Uh, West Sahara is like really west, and so this is like Nigeria is then like like um, it's still on the west side of Africa, but not all the way on the coast. So this is like in between the coast. Um, I'm not really sure what other countries are over there. Uh, I was really close with these two. Um, there's also a, a gold coast as well. Because this is the Ivory Coast, obviously. Um, the gold coast is a little lower. But... After this, we're going to go look at a map. Um, yeah, yeah. What else... Um... It was Liberia. Okay. I believe the capital of Liberia is Mon Monrovia. There's Cota de Ivory. Uh, Burkina Faso, Ghana. Liberia is right next to the two countries I said, unfortunately. Uh, Yikes. What country Africa is the gold of the Ghana, which is one of the ones I said. Ghana's right here. It's literally right next door. So, you know what? Like, let me do the geography stuff, and maybe you just. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This getting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wardle. What player are we going to start with? Um, uh, uh, Jake Deakman. He's in the American League. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, so he's in the AL West and he's between 27 and 31. It's from the United States, too. Um, uh, what about Bregman? That could be. He is from America. He does bat right. Okay, it was Alex Bregman. Oh! Interesting. <laughs> you woo! Good, eh? There you go. AJ Brown. Uh, they finally put him with Philly. Nice. He's in the NFC East. I guess it's oh after is always Tony Pollard after. Um, oh, it's Dallas. Okay, so that's probably a tight end. Yeah, Dalton Schultz maybe or a quarterback. Dak Prescott. Yeah. Now we have to go with Dak Prescott. Uh, NFC twenty eight. Where's the number? He four? wears number four. What a an odd thing to get. Yeah. Um, and he's about six foot. So, you know, if this wasn't last year, this would have to be an offensive player. But now, yeah, it doesn't have to be, and that sucks. True. Um, and the f number four leads me to believe it'll be um, secondary. It doesn't necessarily have to be, I guess. I did the NFC East again because I'm stupid. 
Damn it. <laughs> uh, it's on the defensive side of the ball, but it's not a corner. Um, safety in the NFC North. Do you have Eddie Jackson? Eddie Jackson. Yeah, yeah, Eddie Jackson. Cool. I like it, when, it. I like it when they get a NFC North because that makes it infinitely easier. A little easier. easier. Colin, the number four didn't jump out at you when you... Uh, he used to be 30-something. I guess I didn't pay enough attention. But... Because of your fucking balance you have in your credit card. You can't afford to pay attention. Oh, shit. <laughs> doesn't even doesn't even try to, like, deny just a shit. No, nah, yeah, it's... And it's um, uh, click back on that silhouette. This hair is something... Does it not cut? For Zingacy. I'm getting like a Tyler Hero vibe. Okay. Uh, can't be. Eastern Conference and <coughs> it's in the Western Conference. Um... But he just looks like he's like slouchy. Is Tyler Hero slouchy? I don't know. Okay. That was an interesting answer to that question. Uh, he's a forward in the Pacific. Uh, under six foot ten. Older than 28 by a lot. So 31 plus. Well, if you're looking for old, you got the Lakers. Um, I think this is a white dude, so. I, I 100% agree. Um, okay, no, I was going to put um, somebody from Portland, but Portland is northwest, of course. Um we have Lakers. Is there anybody from uh, the the Warriors who like this? Uh, he used to. He has played for the Warriors, but I should have known he's a forward. So he's a forward, but he's actually shorter than six foot six. And somehow I picked two players who have the number eleven, um, which is interesting. Impressive. So, like ten or nine. Um, I'm just going to eliminate teams here. Low key. Okay, he plays for the Lakers. Okay. Oh, jeez. He's a six foot five forward. He's 32, and his number is less than 11. I mean, it's not Russ. He used to have played for Golden State. Well, definitely not Russell Westbrook, correct. Not a forward. Not Anthony Davis, not LeBron James, not Carmelo Anthony. Uh, so it's someone off the bench. But who used to play for the Warriors and now plays for the Lakers? It is presumably a white dude. That's the thing, though. Like, I can't think of anybody that's white that plays for the Lakers right now. So, you would think if he's an uh, undersized forward... Which what he... position does Kent Bazemore play? Because he's there. Gross. You're being, you're being really weird right now um, with some of your guesses. I don't like that. I'm sorry? Being weird. Also not a white guy. No, he's not. So, he's actually six foot four. Oh, he's a guard forward. I... I love it when they give you the, the slash. Um, Kent Bazemore is kind of like a defender, right? Sure. I don't know. I just knew he was there. Let's see what his... Uh, his splits are... Uh, good for him, increasing his three-point percentage from 30% his first year. 
Um, he averages three points a game. Yeah, so he's got to be like a, a – he had double digits here for Atlanta for a while. Okay, cool. We missed just the geography by this much. I literally oh, yeah, you did get the hurdle. Yeah, on, on the – got the skin of your teeth. I had to uh, I had to just kind of focus in because that's a dude, and it, the song did not sound like a dude to me initially. Um Okay, well, like, comment, and subscribe as usual. Uh, it'll probably take a while to get this one up since Virtual Insanity is very likely going to get flagged for, um, you know, being music on my channel. Um, yeah. We'll be back tomorrow. I apologize for missing yesterday. I had a busy day, and that is the first day I've missed in over a month. So we call that consistency. If you appreciate that, keep watching the, the videos. Or not. I'm not your fucking mom. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I've... Fuck you.